the tyres have been pumped up a bit much there, but anyway, it's nice to be with you all. I'm going to keep my comments brief. I know David said we're running a little behind time. I just want to take the opportunity to introduce a very uh, exciting uh, piece of work, of exciting, I'm not talking about the author, I'm talking about his book, <laughs> by the way, when I say that, <laughs> uh, for you today. Um, what we're about to hear about, uh, as David has told me privately, is something quite extraordinary. It's a book called Sovereignty in the 21st Century. The subtitle is The Crisis for Identity, Cultures, Nation States and Civilizations. And I think what we've just heard about from Alan, uh, from Tony, from all the speakers already this morning goes to the issue, really, if you distill it down to one, one word, one issue, it is the issue of sovereignty. Yeah. Yeah. And that indeed, I think I'm right in saying uh, here, Gregory, is indeed the core of this book the crisis for identity, cultures, nation states, and civilizations. I think the President Donald Trump the other week, in what was ultimately a much maligned speech at the United Nations, but I think a lot of the chuckle was probably nervous laughter from the uh, uber globalists, if I can put it that way. <laughs> that was the world's most powerful man in their neck of the woods, in their backyard saying, I'm not gonna take your stuff anymore. <laughs> They're not used to that. <clears throat> I think what that speech was really about, and it was a seminal moment at the United Nations, was a clarion call back to sovereignty, yeah. a re-embrace of the yeah. idea of nationalism, yeah. which I think I'm right in saying Gregory is addressed quite deeply in this book. In fact, the uh, little blurb I was given prior to coming in here uh, makes the point that this book explores one issue particularly, and that is the statement that we are in a world already at war with itself. Not a war with guns or anything, a bit of an ideological war. And uh, I think anyone like myself who was recently at Sydney University probably still has the battle scars from that war. But uh, as Gregory pointed out, it's a world in which urban globalists fear and despise regional nationalists and vice versa. I think it's very true. Anyway, enough from me. Let's hear from the author himself, Gregory R. Copley. Yeah.